a lot of work that I do at Google, that I do in my companies, really kind of tries to redefine an entire sector of humanity and really tries to invent completely new things. So it's a fairly diverse portfolio of things I do. Um, and I'm always intrigued by finding something great new to do where we can really change society. In all of the, the stuff I do and I'll tell you about today, I really always care about a big vision. I want something that affects, if it works, 100 million people, a billion people. That's really important to me. Um, I always look for people to work with. Um, the reason I'm not that smart, so I, I need smart people and good leaders to work with me. So I, I try to cherry pick individuals who are really driven and passionate and, and work with me, usually entire teams of people. Um, and then the, the most important part is that almost everything that's impossible is actually possible. Whenever someone says it's impossible, I just smile and say, OK, maybe not for you, but for me. I, I want to tell you about this because I want to kind of communicate the process. Because I believe all of you are insanely creative people. And what holds people back is not their lack of creativity or lack of smarts. It's usually the fear of failure or the, the wrong system for innovation. The unwillingness to try something bold and go out and see what happens. But if you put these things together, you have a dream of something you can do, and you're willing to just go for it, we can move the world. And if we do this in Silicon Valley over and over again, and everybody can do it, in my opinion. Um, so the importance of failure, um, we hate failing. We hate being judged. We hate other people come to us and say, this is not good. I hate to read on the New York Times that I'm a flop, that I'm a disaster, that I'm going out of business. And all these things have been written about me, that I'm a, vul a vulgarian. Um, but you know what? In the end of the day, that's what life is. That's what innovation is. You have to fail. You have to go the wrong way to find the right way. There's no way you can find the right path to the top of the mountain if you climb a mountain that have been climbed before. If you really insist on finding the right path, you will climb a mountain that's been climbed many times before, and your work will not be as impactful as if you do something new, in my opinion. And I don't want to make this an advertisement for my company, but I can tell you some of you might actually find something here or there that is useful for your own careers. It's a, basically a new university. We're trying to reinvent education. I believe education is a basic human right, um, and everybody should have access to top-notch education. I mean, my, my dream is that every person on the planet can get a free education or pay a little bit for education to the extent that there's services involved, mentorship involved, uh, certification and proctoring and so on. I would love for all of you to take from these presentations that all of you can do the same thing. And it's actually very doable. You don't need a budget, you need a vision, and need determination and a willingness to embarrass yourself. And as you embarrass yourself more and more and more and more, and as you get hooked into this wonderful dependence of embarrassment, and you celebrate your failures because you learned something, you'll be extremely innovative.